So today we're going to talk about the different ways that you can start up your drive. You have a couple of different documentation solutions. Um, I, call, I like to call them good, better, best. You have a, a quick start guide, a user manual, and then a comprehensive programming manual. Hi, my name is Brent Montgomery. I work for Royal Industrial Solutions, part of the Industrial Solutions Network. So there are a couple of different documentation options that you have when starting up a drive. Um, I like to call them good, better, best, or small, medium, or large, if you will. Um, so what I really like is a kind of a short publication, a quick start guide. Uh, it's about 76 pages long, and it'll very clearly and concisely walk you through starting your drive. Um, the kind of in-between is a user manual. Uh, it's a little bit longer. Uh, this one's for a PowerFlex 527. Um, you know, thickness is maybe three or four times as much. Um, and then, lastly, uh, we have this large guy here. It's a little over 500 pages long. This is a programming manual for our 750 series. So there's about 1,488 different parameters and it goes into uh, pretty great detail on each one of them. Um, going back to the quick start guide, the thing that I really like is that it's relatively short, uh, like I said, about 76 pages long, and it'll really clearly and concisely walk you through everything you need to do for starting up your drive. So almost like a pilot's checklist, it'll say things like, you know, do you need to record the IP address of your drive? Uh, do you need to record the motor nameplate data? Um, and it'll vary, like, concisely walk you through starting up your drive.